If you had to pick a specific time, what would you pick? What would I pick for your finish time? Yeah. Uh, three Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Meet Michael. Oh. My. <laughs> God. I'll take that as a yes. I'm <laughs> blushing. <laughs> she said yes. <laughs> I'm on my third PT here at Finish Life. <laughs> Okay, Michael, it's official. I'm running Chicago. Awesome. I'm announcing it today. You're making the big announcements? I'm making it Facebook official. <laughs> Are you running? I am signed up to run. So, like, will you run with me? I would love to run with you. So, you'll pace me and yell at me when I try to give up? <laughs> <laughs> I will encourage you. I won't yell at you. I know that's the best part is that you will run with me. That's like my favorite thing about this whole situation. But let's talk a little bit about getting me to the starting line. Because getting us? No, I'm not worried about you. <laughs> we, Glad we, you're confident. We know you're going to be fine. What's your PR in the, in the marathon? Uh, my marathon PR is a 304. <sighs> wow. How bad for an old timer? How old were you? Uh, last time I went 304 was 2009. Oh, fuck. Years ago. Michael. <laughs> what was the last marathon you ran? Oh, you don't want to know about that. Uh oh. Well, it had to be better than my like 420. Berlin. Berlin in 2018. Was it that? Was it worse than 420? It was 423. I think that's exactly what my New York it's City my, one it's was. My, uh, PW. <laughs> my joke is that for Be Cure Bus, I keep getting worse. <laughs> like I did 342 and then I did four and then I didn't get to the starting line and then I did three or four, 420 something. So the goal. Happens, but I feel like now you've kind of like found your coach. You've had some good halves this year, right? So far. I had good training. Yeah. Yeah. Half itself is fine. <laughs> Not doing a marathon every month. <laughs> that helps. That helps a lot. <laughs> Well, what is your plan? Like, what are we focusing on? Oh, for me, uh, I, mean, I feel like we started working together now March, like the first week of March, second week of March around there. So it's been a couple of months. Um, and I think the biggest thing that I want to implement or continue to implement is the stability and the strength portion of your program. Okay. Right, I'm not worried about what you're doing in terms of training. I think uh, based on what you've told me, I feel like... Rebecca has a very similar training philosophy that I have, so yeah. I like that. Um, I like a lot of the, the training aspects that she's uh, incorporated, which is great. Um, but I'm a big advocate of strength training for runners. Yeah. And I think that just has to be a lot of body weight type of things. Uh, doing things uh, that are more functional, upright, standing, three-dimensional. Uh, making sure that you're... I hate using the word recruit, but recruiting the same or the correct muscle groups, right? Like yeah. You're, when you're, everything's one system, so everything's working together. So just keeping the, the posture alignment with the breathing exercises we're doing with the posture restoration uh, exercises, and then making sure that the stability and the strength components are there for when you're, I mean, running such a high level activity, right? Yeah. And especially with marathon training, you often get a lot of people talk about, oh, I did you know the training, I was, did so well, but race day comes, and a lot of that is so un unknown because of the mileage at the end, right? Yeah. And it often comes down to the strength aspect. People just fatigue really quickly. And so I can they, relate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Been there. It happens to us all. So, you know, it's it's the the combination of, of training appropriately and doing the correct mileage in terms of volume uh, but also getting in those strength workouts that you know I'd be at least twice a week I can't say I've never taken strength more seriously in my life yeah, yeah, like, yeah, and yeah, I thought yeah, before absolutely. New York City I was pretty intense but like this the last like at least 10 weeks 10 weeks yeah 
Although my Loch Ness Monster abs are not showing and I still don't have an <laughs> arm line, so I think it might all be bullshit. Yeah. You know, it's, it's strengthening for the activity of running, right? That's what your sport is, so that's what we focus on. Um, and I think it'll be a kind of a, I think you'll notice a different throughout your training as your long runs continue. Uh, and you'll definitely be stronger come October 13th. So that's when right, I did this the day. very, very first time, uh -huh. the, I mean, the joke really was that like we didn't think I could do it. I'm trying to shave off 20 minutes. Do you think it's doable? Mm -hmm. Be honest. Be honest. Of course. But now like I do think I could do it, so I'm not going to ask you whether or not you think I can do it, but I want to know what you think a realistic time goal for us is. Uh, I mean, based off of just what I know from you in the last couple of weeks, and we'll get into this in more detail moving forward, but I believe your half PR now is in the 140s, correct? 142 in change. 142 in change, so... Two uh, or three years know, ago. The math is different for everybody, right? It's not W half and add 10 minutes, right? It's Some people it is. Some people it's W half and add 8 minutes. Some people it's double and add 20 minutes. Yeah. So it really depends on the individual, uh, how they run. I'm a better half marathoner than I am a full marathoner or was a better half than full. I think but, I'm just uh, not a very good runner, period. <laughs> um, but if you're, you're close in, ter in terms of just that simple math equation. You're very yeah. close to doing what you want to achieve. So I think it's in that 330, 335 right now. And training honestly hasn't technically started, right? No. I mean, if you look at a, a Chicago program that Rebecca's going to put together for you, I assume, and yeah. then it's going to be... Well, it's Moonshot, but Moonshot. I think still will tweak. And she'll... It's 16 weeks, 18 weeks, and you're coming in with a phenomenal base. She just did a couple half marathons, and, you know, so your base is really strong, so we have a lot of time to play with, so... I mean, you're only going to get fitter from here, right? I mean... God, I hope so. Yeah. Time will tell. <laughs> time will tell, Michael. Time will tell. It's good for both of us. Yeah, you have your you have your work cut out for you. I need you. I do. I do. This race uh, isn't about you. No, it's not about me. Uh, it's about you. I'll be your Sherpa. <laughs> I will get your water and stuff. And I will uh, pace you, which is actually, you know, not to toot my own horn, but I'm actually a very good pacer. I'm so stoked. Uh, very consistent. And Chicago is a very relatively flat course, Thank right? God. Bless. So, it's going to be easier to keep you on that pace. And yeah. we'll talk about approach down the road, like how we want to do it, and maybe get Rebecca involved as well. Run fast and get faster. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Start off fast, <laughs> pick up the pace, and then sprint to the end. That always works. Or not. But I think, you know, for most people, I think it's either going to be in Chicago a, an even split or maybe even slightly negative split. If you had to pick a specific time, what would you pick? What would I pick for your finish time? Yeah. Uh, 3.28.32. Whoa. I'm going to say 2.10. <laughs> what's, what's the current world uh, record for women? 2.15? I think I'm just going to blow it out of the water. 2.14? Uh, I'm going to Icarus it. <laughs> Do steroids. I do own a pair of the Nike 4%, so I'll have to wear those. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then we'll be in. Michael's my new PT because Rachel left me. Rachel left. Traveling <laughs> Europe. Living life. All right, Chicago. Let's do it. <laughs>